Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a slightly different video. I'm here at London Gatwick Airport to travel to Gibraltar, which is on the green list. And we're gonna check out how easy it actually is to go to a green list country at the moment. Obviously you need to check before you travel. Some countries require you to take a COVID test and fill out a passenger locator form 72 hours prior to arrival. With Gibraltar, I can actually take a test when I arrive. I just need to book it in advance, which I've done on the mobile phone. We're gonna check out here at North Terminal, what's actually open, how easy it is to get through security. And on the other side, is there anything open like restaurants and shops? Can I enjoy having some breakfast before I go? Let's find out. Oh, if you haven't already, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Also, please wear your masks, so uh, with uh, nose and mouth fully covered at all times whilst passing through the turban building. I got here a little bit too early. In fact, I thought I'd give myself a good few hours before the flight leaves, but I had to check my bag in and that doesn't open three hours before departure. So I don't know why I'm looking at my watch. I haven't got a watch on. I think I've got an hour to kill. Let me get some coffee. Oh. Can't be the first coffee in the morning, can you? Oh yeah. Good morning, sorry about that. Yeah. To Brill, to love. That's passenger so, located for me. That's your book to your arrive, you do a test, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I just stick that onto the... Yeah. Have a lovely flight. Thank you. So I'm all good to fly and I've showed them my passenger locator form, a passport, and I get one of these, which I showed to the gate staff apparently, which means uh, I'm good to fly.
to be honest, so far, it's, um, it's been a really easy experience to get through security. In fact, I was actually quite surprised that nobody kind of gave me a temperature check. So I'd say 80% of the shops are actually open. There are a few restaurants that are closed, but you can still go around, have something to eat. I think it's time for a breakfast. So I'm just obviously ordering on the app for a traditional breakfast and a coffee. Why is it traditional breakfasts are always more expensive at the airport? Look at that, just what I need this morning. Oh, it feels so good just to take my mask off. You're wearing a mask for such a long time, your face gets really hot and sweaty, but obviously it's got to be done. Oh, smells good. I'll see you when this is finished, which will be very quickly. Right, better get on this flight then. Let's go. This is always really expensive, so, uh, yeah, might as well get it, whilst it's free. Passengers travelling on flight EZY 89072 to Gibraltar, please make your way to gate 559, that's gate 559, in preparation for boarding. Thank you very much, Tim. Thank you. It does make me laugh. All these people clambering to get on the plane, rushing to get to their seats. They've all been assigned anyway, and the plane's not going to go until everyone's on board anyway. From the flight deck. Captain Ian Welsh is my name. A warm welcome to you on board this EasyJet flight to lovely Green List Gibraltar. Great to have you on board. Hope you're making yourselves comfortable and your uh, journey through the airport thus far has uh, gone as uh, smoothly as it can. Uh, things are going very smoothly here. We're fully boarded and loaded, closed up now, should be underway in the next couple of minutes on schedule. Flight time today, 2 hours and 30 minutes, uh, beautiful day for flying, looks uh, lovely and clear over most of the route and the Gibraltar weather is uh, very nice indeed, light to moderate easterly winds, clear skies already 23 degrees Celsius there. Taking off towards the west today, heading out uh, over Hampshire, past uh, just north of Southampton and then past the Isle of Wight route towards uh, the Brest Peninsula in northern France. We'll update you with progress uh, later on. I thank you in advance for your cooperation with regard to the health precautions uh, we're required to have on board. I wish you a pleasant flight then. We'll speak to you again later. Thank you. Gibraltar, I get a COVID test 
on arrival, so I don't need to do that before I leave the UK. The flight's fairly busy actually, it's more busy than I thought it would be, but um, I just wanted to come in here, the glamorous side of EasyJet, in the toilet just to have a, uh, a chat with you guys and uh, I'll update you when we land. Now when I land, um, I have a free COVID test landing in Gibraltar, so I've got to make sure I do that. But as I'm traveling back to the UK within the next two days, I kind of also have to fill out another passenger locator form for when I arrive back into the UK, which I kind of need to do when I land. And I have to take another test within 48 hours of arriving back in the UK as well. So yeah, as I'm traveling for just a couple of days, my brain is scrambled because I have to make sure I fill out the forms to come back to the UK and filling in all the forms and the COVID test when I arrive in Gibraltar all at the same time. Currently just passing over the southern coastline of the uh, West Peninsula. Uh, more or less maintaining a southerly heading all the way across the Bay of Biscay, tracking uh, around about 150 kilometres off the French West uh, coastline. And then we'll pass straight over the uh, northern Spanish coast, uh, just to the west of Santander, and uh, pass through central Spain, uh, just to the west of Madrid, down towards the realm of uh, Seville, uh, before making a uh, beginning our descent, uh, checking over the southern coast, uh, just to the west of Malaga, and then uh, making a few left and rights for our arrival into Gibraltar. Uh, otherwise, down there currently, uh, a light easterly breeze, no clouds detected at all, 22 degrees on the ground, expecting there to rise a few, a few more as we make our, so just under two hours to go. Uh, if there's any change to our uh, route, weather, or arrival time, I'll make sure to come back and uh, give you as much information as I can. Uh, and uh, continue to sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the flight with us this morning. Thank you. Top tip, don't wear shorts and a t-shirt on the plane, it's freezing. The time uh, here, it's uh, just approaching 1.25 in the afternoon and we're delighted to have landed uh, over 25 minutes ahead of schedule today. Temperature outside is approximately 24 degrees centigrade. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened while we're taxiing to the terminal building. But once the seatbelt sign has been switched off, you're free to move around the cabin to retrieve any items off your luggage. Do bear in mind, though, of social distancing uh, requirements, so please don't all queue uh, for your bags at the same time. Allow the person in front of you to uh, clear their bags first. That would be great. Also, please wear your masks uh, with uh, nose and mouth fully covered at all times whilst passing through the terminal building to avoid any potential on the spot fine. So I've just arrived. I did the passenger locator form. That all went well. Obviously what I need to do now is the rapid COVID test, which is free when you arrive in Gibraltar. I'm not looking forward to it though. They shove it right up your nose. It's got to be done though. Just a little bit, just a little bit of a queue. 
it's not a very nice experience, but it's got to be done. So I get my results back within 30 minutes. Uh, they get sent to me via text or email, I think. And then I'm off to discover Gibraltar, how I see fit. Obviously, I'm staying in Gibraltar um, and I'm actually not going into Spain, which makes it easier for when I travel back. But because I'm traveling back in the next couple of days, it means I kind of have to book a test on the return and also do another passenger locator form for when I arrive back in the UK. It's actually quite straightforward and it's not something to get over worried or panicked about and just make sure you follow the rules into which destination you are traveling to. If you like the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. And if you wanna see my video from Gibraltar, just click top right hand corner and I'll see you next time.